hope everyone is well um the last time we left off we were all supposed to do some research on report writing and i hope we did do some reading so in this lesson we're going to look at the first part of uh, a general report we're going to see how to write the first section and after we have seen how to write it we can then be able to actually write it so a general report as you see in the slide it is a routine report usually written by someone holding a position of responsibility or it could be uh, a subordinate so you're writing a report to maybe your boss or someone who's superior to you you could be writing as a class monitor as a prefect as a concerned citizen as a head teacher as a chief executive officer as a minister you know it, uh, the positions of responsibility are varied but uh, what's important is for you to note that it is a routine report something that is written regularly so we're going to look at the format as well as the content of a general report and um, in all kinds of english writing as usual the report should start with a title because anything that doesn't have a head really looks weird so a report should have a title and um, there are two ways of writing a title you can choose to write capital letters fully or you can use the sentence case where the important uh, beginning letters are capitalized and then the rest are in normal font but you underline the title so you choose which one you're going to use in your report usually people encourage the capital letter case throughout so um, in your title for any report you should be able to state the topic of your report who you're writing this report for and uh, the period that you're writing about or the debt that you are writing about so uh, a rep the title contains the person to whom the report is addressed to the topic and when the report is written there are some examples that have been given on the slide i hope you can see them just to show you two different examples of titles so the first one is in the sentence case but underlined the second one is in capitals so you choose which title type you're going to write as long as you remember that in your title someone is able to see that it is a report someone is able to see that topic of that report someone is able to see the person you're addressing the report to and there should be some period of time stated in the report now that you have written your title you can then go ahead to write your introduction now in a report yes the writing is done in paragraphs but like reports are supposed to uh, we usually have subtitles for each section of paragraph that you're going to to write so after we have written our title we don't skip any line we go straight to the introduction so you write the word introduction and underline it it becomes a subtitle and uh, whatever you write under the introduction should be in paragraph form and you're kind of giving some detail of what you you are going to write about and sometimes uh, we just tell people to actually uh, paraphrase the title in their own words 
putting some little flesh on it. For example, like you see on the slide, the term started on Monday, 26th March 2021, and it has been a relatively good term. There have been some good things that happened as well as challenges. So you're introducing the topic that you are going to write on and uh, when you look at this particular example you'll see that it has something on the time you'll see that it still has something on uh, the good things that you're going to write about as well as the challenges that you are going to write about so your introduction should give a peep into what you are going to write about it is something that is brief you don't have to say much in your deduction if you're stuck you can just paraphrase what is in your title so the introduction is the first thing that is written in a report after you have written your title now that you have your title well written out you've written out your introduction it's time to move on to the biggest part of the report that is our body now the body usually is written under subtitles as well and it has between four to six paragraphs that is why we usually call it the major part of the report because you you write a lot in there so whatever issue you're going to write about is written under a subtitle after you have written out your subtitle then you can write the paragraph on the things that you want to say about that subtitle let's take an example of um, if, if you want to talk about maybe you're the health prefect and uh, you're writing your report to the school nurse about what has transpired that term you could have about three items to talk about maybe you want to talk about the general checkup then you would like to talk about the typhoid outbreak then probably you would also like to talk about COVID-19 so if that is what you want to talk about now those become your subtitles so you'll have paragraphs under each of them talking about the issues that you want to report on that have transpired that term. So let, let's look at each of them. If for example you want to begin with general checkup, you will write general checkup, then underline it to show that it is a subtitle. Then you can go ahead to begin your paragraph some two centimeters away from the margin remember how to write your paragraphs properly and then you say something like um, general checkup was done for each student at the beginning of the term and from what the school nurse had to say after the checkup was done it looks like all students were healthy and the term has gone on relatively well because this general checkup was done and uh, the students were found to be okay healthy so that becomes the paragraph that you write under general checkup then you can move on to your next one maybe the typhoid outbreak write it underline it and begin your paragraph so you could say something like um, in the fourth week of the term there was a typhoid outbreak in the school many students were suddenly becoming weak and complaining about tummy aches and uh, on further investigation the school nurse found out that most of the students were not getting boiled water from the kitchen instead they were drinking water directly from the taps um, the head teacher called an assembly and students were reminded to take boiled water from the kitchen so that becomes your paragraph on the typhoid 
outbreak. Then you can have the third subtitle, which is COVID-19. And uh, you could have something like, this time um, we came back after the lockdown due to COVID-19 and uh, it has gone on relatively well. There's no student who was, um, who got sick. There's no student who got COVID-19 and the students have tried to observe the SOPs and because of this discipline, there has been no COVID-19 outbreak in the school. So you have those three issues. Each subtitle has been explained in the paragraph. And then you can end your body with the challenges that you have faced, if any. Okay, so the challenge paragraph should always be the last paragraph in your body. And in the challenge paragraph, you're stating the issues that you have had, the health issues. So depending on the report you're writing about, because in my case for the body, I have used health. So my challenges will be around health. So maybe I'll say that uh, one of the challenges this term, since we came in after lockdown, has been students who do not want to wear their masks regularly, or has been students who do not want to wash their masks. So that is my paragraph. So the subtitle is challenges, then I get into the paragraphs. I can give another challenge and choose to write it in another paragraph and say something like um, uh, the students have also uh, been avoiding to sleep under their mosquito nets because the night have been very hot this term. So that becomes my second challenge and uh, it could be in a, a different paragraph. So important for you to note is that when you're writing your body, all the paragraphs that you write are under subtitles and uh, the paragraphs can be between four to six paragraphs. And usually the question will dictate some of the things that are expected to be in your report. So if the question has said in your report include and then give you maybe about three or four things to write about, make sure that that is what your subtitles are and then you come up with paragraphs that will talk about those various subtitles. Then also ensure that the last paragraph in your body is the challenges that you have faced uh, because of the issues that you are writing about. So now we have covered the first main parts of a general report. We have looked at the title and what it entails. We have looked at our introduction and some of the things that we can put in it. We have also looked at what a body should entail. So I would like us to practice what we have learned so far. So I have written a tryout question here or a tryout scenario. We're going to practice how to write the first part of a report as a class captain. So we're going to imagine we are the class captain. Remember it's a routine report and we are writing it to our class teacher. It's probably end of term. So on the last term that we had in school. So I want you to take yourselves back to that last term you had in school and you're going to write a report to your class teacher as the class captain. And it would be good if your report includes things like academics, things on students' behavior, things on health, and maybe things on discipline. So we're going to try out just the first part. Remember, we're not writing out the whole report. So we are writing out paragraphs under 
some of the subtitles that we have looked at as the main first parts of a general report. Enjoy your writing. Please remember to plan and then do the actual writing. Then after you have written, ensure that you read through what you have written to proofread and correct spelling errors or grammatical errors or change any uh, sentences that you feel uncomfortable with. Enjoy the writing.